A photo of long-term Arsenal injury absentee Santi Cazorla has been doing the rounds online this evening. Following the Gunners' defeat at the hands of Manchester City in the Carabao Cup final. Matchup the two sides went head-to-head -head at Wembley Stadium, with Arsenal particularly. Desperate for a positive result following their dismal season to this point. The Gunners currently sit in sixth place in the Premier League table, and have already seen their chances of retaining their FA Cup crown crumble at the hands of Nottingham Forest. Manchester City, meanwhile, hold a massive 13-point lead atop the English top flight table, with a game in hand, with Pep Guardiola's men having also set themselves up for the quarter-finals of the Champions League with a 4-0 first-leg drubbing of Basel in Switzerland last week. Back and forth the early goings of this evening's clash saw Manchester City unsurprisingly control the majority of possession, but struggled to carve out many clear-cut opportunities. The best chance of the opening quarter of an hour in fact felt to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who looked certain to slot home from Mesut Ozil's squared ball, only for a brilliant intervention from Kyle Walker to snuff out the danger. And the Gunners were soon made to pay for failing to capitalize on this opportunity, as Sergio Aguero put City ahead with 18 minutes on the clock. 1-0 the goal came about after a relatively aimless lofted ball through the middle of Arsenal's defense from Citizens goalkeeper Claudio Bravo, with Arsenal's central defensive trio of Laurent Koscielny, Callum Chambers and Shkodran Mustafi expected to deal with the danger with little fuss. However, Mustafi, who was deployed by Arsene Wenger in the middle of his back three, managed to get himself caught under the flight of the ball, before backpedaling into the alert Sergio Aguero. The German stopper immediately threw his hands in the air to suggest to referee Craig Pawson that he had been fouled, with Aguero. Simply continuing his run through the heart of the Gunners' defense to lift a brilliant finish over the onrushing David Ospina. City were dealt a blow shortly after the interval when Fernandino limped off with a hamstring problem, but the citizens didn't allow the setback to affect their performance on the pitch, as Pep Guardiola's men went on to completely show up Arsenal with a brilliant second-half display. The Premier League leader's second of the day came via Vincent Kompany, who, after doing brilliantly to win his side a corner, Got on the end of Ilke Gundogan's driven cross shot to divert the effort past the helpless Ospina in the Gunners' goal. And David Silva put the game firmly to bed with 65 minutes on the clock, rolling Callum Chambers following. Danilo slipped through ball and smashing a splendid finish into the bottom right-hand corner of Arsenal's goal. This was how things ended, with Arsenal's performance summed up by Sky Sports pundit Gary Neville as disgraceful and spineless. Heartbreaking, and, as if the day hadn't already been a difficult enough one for the Gunners' faithful, a photo going viral across social media in the hour since has added further weight to the hearts of Arsenal fans the world over. The picture in question features forgotten Gunners midfielder Santi Cazorla, who has not featured for the North Londoners since 2016 due to an ongoing problem with his right heel, Achilles. Check out the photo, which has since been labeled as heartbreaking, and the saddest thing I've ever seen, below, Santi Cazorla lingering on the pitch after all other Arsenal players have walked off, almost as if he just wants the feeling of being on one again. Picked at twitter.com slash 9q2 fesho, Matthias Karin, at Mashes Karin, February 25, 2018 Jack Wilshire destroyed for Arsenal display versus Man City Man City face FA ban after the Arsenal Carabao Cup final.